I have some really exciting news. I am so, so excited. I have merch. I have a t-shirt. I worked with Bonfire and we are, we created this shirt together. This is Jenny's logo that she see, that she made me, that you see in the beginning of all my videos. And we are doing a limited run of t-shirts in two different style, short sleeves, long sleeves, tank tops, and sweatshirts. And the campaign runs from now until April 10th, 2022. And then when they have all of the orders, they will print them all up and they should be arriving at your door on or around April 18th. So I wanted to show you, here it is. I'm super, super pleased with it. We have them in all different bright, happy colors because I love bright, happy colors. I think they go really well with the logo. And I will put the link to Bonfire in the description below this video and also along here. And I hope that you go out and order yours today. Thank you so much. This video is not just about my merch, but it is also an unboxing of some friend mail. I have more of a fairy godmother that lives in the state of Washington. Her name is Sue. And one day last week when I went to the post office, uh, the lady who works there said, oh, you have three boxes. I said, no, I don't. I don't have three boxes. Who's going to send me three boxes? And she goes, you got three boxes. And there were three heavy boxes all the way from Washington. And it turns out there's a viewer named Sue. Hi, Sue. And she graciously has been downsizing and graciously sent me three boxes of her treasures. And then she sent me a fourth box on Monday. It was unbelievable. I have already unboxed it. When I was looking at everything, it was like she was living in my head going, Dagny would like that. Dagny likes that. Dagny likes that. It was just, I love everything and you're gonna love everything too. There were no rules of what I have to do with it. She says you can do whatever you want with it. But the important thing is that I know that it'll go to a good home, a new home that someone will appreciate these things that she sent me. And you're going to, I think you're going to be amazed. So let's move on to the haul of what she sent me. So we have four boxes to go through. I've already opened everything, but we are going to look at them. Not, I don't think every single thing. Well, maybe, I don't know. Every single thing was pretty amazing. I've never seen this before. It's a little figurine of a girl. It's made out of stone. And my research is that this is from Russia. This kind of reminds me of Jenny. Jenny has very long hair. My mouth, my jaw, my mouth. My mouth went open and my jaw dropped when I unwrapped this. A Sasha B bowl. I think I am going to hold on to this just for a little bit while longer because I love Sasha, his designs. This bowl is very, very nice. She said in her research, she couldn't find the design, the name of the design. I have looked very quickly, not in too much depth, but I couldn't either. That's what the bottom looks like. It said it has 085 written on the bottom. It is signed Sasha B, Sasha Brastoff, if I am pronouncing that correctly. And I, I love a planter and you're gonna see some really cute planters like this one. Look, she's on a bike. Look at her. Look at this. And it, this is a Narco Japan. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. But wait, there's more. Here are some Bone China Mickey and Minnie Mouse Christmas ornaments, or you could set them out and they could be just little figurines. Here is a cat figurine. Look how neat it is, it's so narrow. This was probably, I would guess, made in Japan based on what the style of it. Artisania Rinconada Shaggy Dog. And you can always tell it's Artisania Rinconada or it's a made in Peru uh, figurine because there's some that are not made by Artisania that there are other brands. Uh, that they have the same style, but the Artisania Rinconada has that symbol on it. Look at his little tongue. <laughs> so cute. These little kitty cats. Next is a very simple, very pretty white. I believe this is a bride's box, if I'm not mistaken, but you can take the lid and set it like that. The bigger ones, I do have a bigger one that I did find that had uh, painted flowers along it. 
um, on the sides. It was missing the lid, but they're still very pretty without it. And I really like the simplicity of this white one and the size of it. You could put quite a few M&Ms in there. These are Fitz and Floyd. There are the stickers. Uh, tumbling cats. One has tumbled a little bit too much and has a tiny little chip there. But these two little cats, I think, are super cute. Here is a planter. It's a boot with flowers. It kind of reminds me of Edelweiss or German flowers, but I don't think it is because it's pink and Edelweiss usually is, I think, white. And here is a little boot. This one is marked Japan on the bottom. She sent a whole bunch of Wade Whimsies, and this one is a little maple dish. You can see the mark like there. There we go. And then this little dog is attached in the basket, and this says Wade England on the bottom. And I have four pounds and three ounces of Wade Whimsies. This was in the last box she sent, and uh, her husband likes tea and uh, so they have a lot of these and I thought it was funny in the letter she said that they never really they go to the same grocery store like I always go to the same grocery store I don't venture out to other grocery stores and so they would always get his tea so they have a lot of uh, doubles of the figurines because the store gets sent you know the same inventory and they weren't really seeking out getting whole sets but there's quite a few small little sets here and some really nice duplicates in here. So thank you so much, Sue. This was a lot of fun to look through. And here is a figurine of an elephant. And the reason why I unboxed everything is because some of the things I wasn't quite sure what they were and I wanted to do a little bit of research and I didn't want to be unboxing and go, oh, look, a, an elephant figurine. It must be a piggy bank because I'm, my first Thought was this must be a coin bank or a piggy bank because of the slot here. Now, if you turn it over, let me make sure it goes the right way so you can see it. It says, free with Listerine shaving cream offer, made in USA, patent approved for. What this was, as I looked it up, is you would put your disposable razors, your used razors in here. So I thought that was very, very cool. And it is an elephant figurine, but it's also a useful thing for your razor blades. Now, I guess if you would get them full, you would just have a really heavy elephant figurine. <laughs> Planters. This one is reminds me of the old woman who lived in a shoe. It's a boot that looks like a shoe. And this is very pretty. The Holland wooden clog, but in yellow. We have a cow figurine. At first, when I was starting to unwrap this, I thought this was a creamer, but it's not. It's just a really cool looking cow hanging out. It is not marked, but my guess would be it was probably Japan. And then also, I love a swan. And this swan is a double headed swan, as you can see. And it is marked Czechoslovakia, right there. So sometimes you'll see this this stamp and it'll be really faded, but most likely it was made in Czechoslovakia. So I'll give you a little hint of what to look for. Besides being so generous with sending me the things that she didn't want anymore, she was also mindful of the size and the weight of things since I do ship out everything that I sell. So I appreciate that too, Sue, amongst many other things. <laughs> Here we have a yellow duck and then a little green frog on a lotus flower. These aren't marked on the bottom, but they're very, very nice. Here is another planter of a turtle. Very sweet colors. And this is a little trinket box. Very pretty flowers on top. And it opens up like that. And it is marked 6276 on the bottom. And it looks like the flowers are in really good shape. That's very pretty. There is a grape jelly jar holder, and this is marked Japan. The colors are in great shape. And then there is a strawberry jelly jar, 
and it comes with an on an attached leaf which is super cute i always think of strawberries as a fruit you eat in the beginning of may because when i was growing up in california that's usually when the strawberries came uh, in season and now it seems like you can get strawberries year round but to me strawberries and beginning of may mother's day my mom's birthday my birthday you start eating a ton of strawberries i have the perfect spoon rest for you look at this look how cute look at that it's not marked on the back but that's adorable that would be adorable on your wall or to maybe use it very very carefully and so there's a spoon a large spoon and then fork indention there some smaller gel jelly jars. Here's an orange and a pineapple. And they, this one, it has a blue made in Japan sticker and this one is not marked. I like finding these old milk glass vanity dishes, especially if they have paint remnants on them. It's always so pretty. You know that this is really, really old, has a lot of age to it, has a nice little pretty rose design with the bows on either end. And to go with your salad, look at this. Look at these salad fork and spoon. And they are marked Oriental Majolica Japan on the back of each of those. I'm trying to angle so you can see it. There we go. They have a nice white to green ombre color to them. That would also be a neat display. You could display them or use them very, very carefully. I have seen these in antique malls, but I've never had one uh, myself. What these are are tea bag holders. This one can stand like this, or obviously like that, and it says, I will hold the, the bag. And sometimes the sets would come like in a little holder. Um, I don't know if this would be one of those that would have come with other ones. It might have been, I'm not sure, but I have seen them where they come in sets or individual like this one. I love the idea that people just you know, I need a tea bag holder and they had this. This was like common every day, no big deal that it's such a cute, kitschy little fruit. I love it. This also could be a tea bag holder. This is marked made in Japan. This is orange luster finish of a baseball mitt and uh, baseball catcher's glove and the baseball. But um, my first reaction was, oh, this is to park your gum. So if you had your chewing gum, you could park your gum there or to hold a tea bag. Here is another large jar, mayonnaise jar or must, well mayonnaise, that would be kind of weird having mayonnaise sitting out. It probably wouldn't be very healthy for you if you set your mayonnaise out in this. Um, maybe mustard or cheese, cheese and cauliflower is pretty yummy. We have this jar. We have these sweet little ceramic clogs. They're so cute. And then this is made, let's see, this is marked Italy. And this is says um, Capa di Monte, and it has these applied flowers on it. And you can YouTube a video. I don't think it's Italy, but I think if I'm not mistaken that it is England. It might be a Wedgwood, like old fashioned from like 1960s, 50s documentary on YouTube where you watch them make this lattice work and it's pretty amazing the hard work that because you, you look at this you're like oh yeah but the hard work that went into making these little baskets and actually weaving them together is pretty pretty cool I thought this bowl was really neat like a little mixing bowl maybe and the graphics on here are very 50s the black and the pink this is a very light pink it's kind of faded out here on the video but it's a nice pretty light pink color there is also this trinket box and it is marked carla grace with the state of oklahoma on the back of it and it has a quilt on the top of it and around the sides it says friends are like quilts they are treasures and comforts and then on the inside is another little quilt design I thought that was very very sweet Nice little trinket box. Here is a panda bear. It is marked Goebel, Germany. And then, of course, a little piggy, a little blue pig. 
And the final thing that I'd like to share with you that she brought, and we did go through everything. I was like, oh, we'll only touch on a few things. No, I showed you everything uh, were, th were these stamps. And s some of the stamps have dates on it. This says a doctor's name with MD on it. And these also have, it's backwards. You have to um, regional agricultural credit core. And so they're wooden stamps and a brush probably to clean, I would guess to clean the brush based on the stains of the ink stains on it. And here is an airmail stamp. And then this stamp is super cool. It says least uh, in core 1932. So a stamp from 1932, that's pretty, that's amazing that it's intact and it's still all together that we can still read it. I was doing some final editing and I realized I forgot to highlight these two little cutie pies. So here they are. They have their own little video. This little elephant planter. And this super cute egg cup. Thank you again, Sue, for your generosity. I, it's overwhelming that what you sent me. Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see ya.